All right, hello. Welcome to this uh, special edition of just more streaming. <laughs> this is uh, a special happy birthday episode for the great Clark Terry. He would have celebrated his 100th birthday today and uh, just sending out love and, and gratitude and, and, and some music. Uh, got things started with a song of his called Serenade to a Bus Seat. And um, that album is very highly recommended. It's by that title, Serenade to a Bus Seat. And, um, you know, I just thought it'd be nice to go on and, and, and share some of his music and uh, just be here to say happy birthday. <laughs> Since we've got everything all set up, might as well. Um, hope you're doing well. Um, hope you had a chance... Uh, to check out the film that features Clark. It's called IMDb. I mean, it's not called IMD. Good grief. It's called Keep On Keeping On, but it's streaming on IMDb. Uh, and um, for free, you can check it out there. Um, yeah. Uh, in case you you know haven't had a chance to be, or you're not familiar with Clark, um, that's that's a good way to see what a remarkable life he, he lived. Uh, he had quite a career playing with all of the greatest musicians in jazz history, um, but also teaching some of the most successful and some of the most famous uh, jazz musicians um, of pretty much every generation, I think. Uh, Quincy Jones being uh, really his first student and, and working with uh, folks like Wynton Marsalis and uh, Roy Hargrove and Nicholas Payton and Diane Reeves and Terry Lynn Carrington and um, uh, so, so many uh, musicians I think are, are in this family of people who've been tremendously affected by Clark Terry um, his selflessness uh, his real just true dedication to teaching um, it was remarkable to Remarkable to be a part of it. Uh, and I should also give a very special shout out to Gwen Terry, his his widow, who well, we all love very much. Um, none of what Clark did or was able to do would, would have been possible without Gwen. Um, so uh, love you, Gwen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just figured I'll play a few tunes and, and, and get out of everybody's hair. <laughs> I feel like I said, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of strings lately, but you know, it's like, well, wh why not? You know, whatever. It's all good. See this music. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah. Um, that's right. Happy, happy hundredth. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Katie. Spencer, good to see you. And yeah, I, you know, we're, <laughs> why not? <laughs> so um, I'm going to keep it moving with, hey, Celine, what's up? Love you. <laughs> um, well, I'll play, I'll play Breeze. Um, that's a song, if you did see the movie, there's a scene where both Clark and I are trying to remember this song that he had taught me, I guess, some years back, and uh, it's called Breeze, and um, there's not much more to say about that. I think we're good. This is me.
Okay, thanks so much. That was Breeze. Happy birthday, CT. Um, that's what we're here to do. Just Jeff. Oh yeah, Jeff. Hey, uh, CT is some. Um, it's almost hard to figure out where to begin, but um, he's got a wonderful book, um, which which Gwen helped him put together, and uh, simply called Clark, an autobiography. There's a lot of really good uh, stories in there, um, and that, that really does encapsulate so much of, of what he did, his career. Um, you know, his background didn't have the easiest upbringing, uh, but uh, wow, uh, you know, he, made, he, sh he certainly made it work. Played at the Duke Ellington Orchestra. Um, before that, was with the Count Basie Orchestra. Um, one of the few musicians to, to, to have been in both organizations, and I know there's, there's some other ones, but he's, he's the most, one of the most notable ones who, who, who played in the two greatest jazz organizations of all time. Um, uh, he's got some marvelous records, uh, Serenade to a Bus Seat, Clark After Dark is worth checking out, um. Um, what's the one he did with? He did a record with Thelonious Monk. Oh, man. Uh, what is it called? Somebody can... Matt, do you remember, Katie? Man, I, I know all the tracks on it, but it's a cool one. They do uh, One Foot in the Gutter. Uh, anyways, <laughs> whatever that one is called. <laughs> um, uh, Happy Horns of Clark Cherry, that's one of my favorites. Uh, he he just plays so wonderfully on that record, um, but he's he's got quite the body of work. Uh, but it, besides being such an accomplished musician and, and wonderful teacher, uh, the thing I remember so vividly is his laughter and his smile. Um, he could tell some very good jokes, some very inappropriate jokes, but very good jokes. Um, <laughs> His handshake, oh, strong, strong handshake. Um, but yeah, he had a real, uh, when, when he was up to no good, he was a real impish kind of, he's, he's a, uh, yeah, he had, uh, ah, man, you know, it's that type of thing, the, the, the th words that kind of come to mind is that twinkle, you know, has a twinkle in his eye, you knows he's doing something mischievous. Um, but uh Oh, man, what 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 an incredible human being! We we had a we had a great time. Um, it was really I'm very grateful to Al Hicks uh, who who put the who directed the movie um, for for connecting me with Clark and and allowing me to spend time with him. Um, Al had already been quite close with with Clark and the family, and invited me to come spend more time over at the house when Clark was living near where we were going to school in Jersey. And um, those, those hangs that would, that would just go on forever. And it was a good lesson for us, I think, um, as students at university to get a real crash course in community and, and what that means. Uh, he, he and Gwen and um, just the, the people around him knew what community really meant. And uh, that was a extremely valuable lesson, I think, that we all got as as students. Um, this is what it's about. It's about those hangs that never end. Um, you know, they just keep going, and, and it really, it's like, yeah, you might you might take a break and you come back the next day, and it's just they're still still here to hang, to spend time with one another, listen to music, play music, eat good food. You know, these things that I don't know feel feel a little bit lost these days. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get it back, you know, when the world comes back open again. I'm good at Surge. Hey, man. Good to see you. <laughs> Happy 100 CT. Appreciate all you guys stopping by. Yeah. This is, it says Ven. V-E-N. Oh, no, Van. Van. So. What's up, man? 
<laughs> in orbit. Thank you, Matt. That's the one. That is the one. Beautiful. All right. Um, Woody, what's up? Good to see you. All right. Woody's in the house. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll play another song before I talk a bunch more. <laughs> what shall I play? Oh, you know what? I'll play this um, song I wrote for CT. It's called For Clark. And all these songs feature, if you can hear it, snoring from the one and only.
birthday candy. It's gonna be louder than me. All right, thanks so much for uh, tuning in to this special edition uh, stream. I'm doing. <laughs> uh, this is a happy birthday stream to the one and only Clark Terry, who I was very fortunate to get to study with and spend time with. And um, he would have been 100 today. So happy birthday, CT. We all love you very much. And of course, not a happy birthday, but we love you too, Gwen. <laughs> I'd say, uh, Jennifer, thank you. Appreciate it. Tracy, thank you. Thank you guys for stopping in. Um, yeah, so this is his 100th birthday, and um, I know it's getting later in the day, but... Um, if you want to go to bed to a nice movie, I'd recommend checking out Keep On Keeping On, not IMDb. But Keep On Keeping On on IMDb. They're streaming it for free. Um, and uh, there's some there's some real nice things in there. Uh, I'm, I'm unfortunately in it. <laughs> but uh, it's, it, it just shows, you know, the r relationship that we had uh, uh, over, over a four-year period. Um, Al Hicks, the director, and, and Serge were there capturing all kinds of things going on in our lives. And um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a pretty remarkable film, I have to say, uh, even, even, even having lived it. CT, it's a special dude. I can't wait for the edited version to come out. It's almost absurd, you know, when, the, when, they, when they bleep it. You know, Clark used colorful language, so it's, it is rated R, but that's the only reason. He just he dropped him with some F-bombs here and there. Um, but we're working on an educational, and, and the, the, the beeping is just so loud. <laughs> uh, it's just you know, some of these scenes always take a whole different tone, you know. Uh, Sack, where's your horn at? Beep! I don't know where that beep... You know, it's just... <laughs> Anyways, I digress. I think I'll play one more, uh, or one or two more, I guess. Um, Susan, good to see you. Hey, all right. Isabel, what's up? Hey, Lauren. All right. All right, thank you. What is that, symbiosis? Oh, that's the thing I did with Thomas, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thomas von Erspeck, my good buddy from Denmark. Cool, well, Lauren. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Uh, yeah, we're just we're just having fun, saying a happy birthday, CT. So here comes a couple more. Um. <laughs> God, you know what? Well, it'll be okay. Buck's business. I'm gonna try to do. I'll end with that. Um, and. Uh, you know, it'll be something. That's good, right? All right. Snapper. We got um Yeah, I'll do the snapper. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.
Okay, thank you so much for hanging out with me this Monday evening to wish a very happy birthday to the great Clark Terry, who would have been 100 today if he was still with us. Hey, thanks, Serge. Cranking. All right, David, good to see you. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by, really. Thanks for helping me wish a very happy birthday to... The great CT. Um, uh, yeah, that'll do it. I'm going to go practice for, for my Harry Potter thing that I'm doing on Wednesday. <laughs> That's what's going on. We're just streaming out the wazoo over here. So, yeah, Wednesday I'll be doing um, the Harry Potter work, uh, you know, music from that series. The, it's the music that John Williams wrote. And Thursday I'll be playing some Christmas music if you want to hang out for that. Sunday I do my hymns. And if you want to hang out with me all day on Christmas, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be streaming uh, pretty much all day, or as long as there's somebody actually there. So if it, I, I said this last time, if it goes to zero, I'm out of here. So uh, it could be a short stream. <laughs> you know, you never know. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for, for, for hanging in and helping me. Wish happy birthday to CT. Uh, we'll see you next time.